Hold it right there. Just quickly before we begin, I've noticed a bunch of new viewers who are not subscribing to the channel, so if you could subscribe if you're enjoying the videos, that would be amazing. Thank you. So yeah, if you missed it, Rockstar did announce something on the PS5 reveal. Oh sh**. This is big news. I can't wait to play a brand new game. Oh, what's that? It's GTA 5 again, in collaboration with Bethesda. Honestly, it's officially GTA Groundhog Day. We're just getting the same game over and over again. Woo! Anyway, yeah, we've got a new version of GTA 5 expanded and enhanced coming to PS5 in 2021. But honestly, if Rockstar does this right, if they make it really good and do a lot to keep this interesting, then it could be pretty cool, but we'll just have to wait and see what they do. And if they f*** it up. Now, the new version of GTA Online will be a standalone game and it will be free for the first three months when the game is released on PS5, but with the new version of GTA Online, this begs the question, can we take all of our sh** we've already got to the new place that's exactly the same as the old place, but it's in stunning 4K. Like I said, Rockstar could make this interesting, let's just see what they do with this new GTA Online they're bringing out. But can we transfer our accounts over or do we have to start again with nothing in the game, zero dollars and we're at level one? I would hope we can transfer our accounts and I feel like this will be the case. A lot of people have a lot of money in the game and a high rank, cars, properties and other stuff that took them a long time to get and honestly, if they made it so we had to start all over again with nothing, level 1 and no money on a game that we've been playing for years getting all the stuff we want. Uh... I think you would have to be a f***ing idiot to not realise most GTA Online players would be pissed off if you did that, especially since it looks like all the new content might only be added to the next gen consoles once Rockstar releases this new GTA Online. Now of course Rockstar haven't said anything about account transfers so it's still up for debate, but they could make it so we can't transfer and the reason why is there's still a lot of modded and glitched accounts. They might want to eliminate that by not letting us transfer our accounts at all. If you don't know, that's the reason why character transfer was removed from old gen consoles to current gen. We basically couldn't be trusted. I think there was a point where there were more modded accounts being transferred than legit accounts. They might have character transfer available at first and then remove it later, but also they have said they are giving PS4 players $1 million every month until the release of GTA Online on PS5. This points more towards us being allowed to transfer our characters over because if people are not really spending that money and they're just saving it up for GTA on PS5, well this would be pointless if they're just losing that money when they switch to PS5. It could be that they're just giving that money to players so they can enjoy the money now. It's not really meant to be saved up, but who knows. Personally, I think we should be able to transfer our accounts over. Like I said, everyone having to start over again like that might not go down well for a lot of people. But bringing GTA 5 again to PS5 didn't go down well with a lot of people either, so Rockstar might not give a sh**. And look at it this way, if we have to start over again, they could maybe see that as potential shark card sales since the players will have nothing. Rockstar didn't say anything about being able to transfer our accounts, but I really think it would be best for them to allow us to do that. I think some people wouldn't even give GTA Online on the PS5 a chance if they had to start over again. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you think we will be able to transfer our accounts or do you think we should be able to transfer our accounts over? And also what do you think about the GTA 5 re-release? Let me know in the comments and also let me know if you want me to do more videos like this if you're enjoying these videos. But yeah, I really hope you did enjoy this video. If you did enjoy this video in any way, then please drop a like down below and also subscribe with post notifications turned on so you don't miss my future videos. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.